Hey there guys. So we started cleaning the workspace area and it actually went a little further than what we were expecting. So there's all the CB750 parts that I've taken off of her so far. There she is. Her name is Josephine. She's an amazing, amazing bike. I just had a problem with the carburetor, so I decided to tear it apart and build a fucking chopper out of her. But we have scrubbed the shit out of our deck. You know, my workspace as I call it. And it's going to be a day. Also, my friggin' hardtail is taking forever to get in. It got stuck in Kansas or else we would have started this a while back. So, Okay, so the hardtail came in. I'm not fucking thrilled about it. I'm, I'm not at all. I ordered, quote unquote, fully welded hardtail. Okay? I get this. I do. It makes it easier for, you know, shipping and whatever have you. But the fact that they welded this in and now I have to cut it out in order to fit the fucking backbone in, I'm not, I'm not happy. I mean, they did send the rest of the shit with it, but I mean, these welds are nice. They did a really great job down here. But this, this is bullshit. They could have just taped that, that, this one up, just like they did this one to the frame when they shipped it. Now I've got to cut this out, hope like hell I don't fuck it up, so I can get the backbone in. I'm not a happy camper right now. Okay, so we got cut up in the moment, and I forgot to record it, and that's my bad. But she's cut, and the tire's in the frame. Hopefully the frame was in frame, but I don't know. Uh, so, I guess updates are the best option at this point. Alright, so we ran into a bit of an issue. Not with, well, I mean, we did. We ran into an issue with the frame. We actually couldn't get, hang on. We couldn't get those to line up right there, okay? So we actually took, oh, where'd it go? This bar here. Wedged the shit out of it here and on the other side, put it in the center, wedged it, separated a bit, pull it back out, and they slid right in. It was it was just great. But there she is, it's on. Uh I guess the gnomes have run off with all my tape measures and yardsticks and everything that I have, so my fiance decided to run to the store to go get me a tape measure so I could make sure everything is all even before she gets welded together. Okay, so update yet again. Uh, yes, I do keep changing my jackets because the temperature out here keeps fluctuating. We're, what do you expect? It's Oklahoma. You get frostbite and sunburn in the same day. I don't know what to tell you. So deal with, deal with the outfit changes. All right, but got it all together. Now, it's all together. I got a few more spots I got to weld up on it. Yeah, I know, the weld looks like trash, but it's just kind of holding it till uh, the great Randini gets here with his welder and does it because he's a fucking professional. I got to weld it there, there, and I got a couple of braces I got to put in still and then eventually get a uh, kickstand for it so it's not just staying up. But she's under her own weight right now. I mean, you know, I got it scotched so she doesn't fall over, but she's holding firm. I am so proud of my fiance. She worked her ass off helping me get this accomplished today. And guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're if you're gonna marry a woman, marry a woman that believes in your goals and helps you reach your goals. Cause this was not an easy task by myself. And she made it go a little bit smoother. There was a couple points when we could have used another person, but you know. She helped me think through it, and we figured it out. So, well, all right, till episode two.